This is Thomas Lyons of Raps on TV down there at Whitley Amateur Boxing Club. Fortunate to be joined by one of their elite amateurs. Introduce yourself to us. Yeah, I'm Jay Clark. And uh, what brings you down to uh, Whit I mean, wh what brings you down to Whitley Amateur Boxing Club? What got you into uh, into boxing? Um, well, I originally started boxing about three years ago, and um, was at a different gym. Was there for a little while. Came away from boxing for about a year, and then decided to get back into it. And wanted to change in gyms. Heard good things about the gym. Had a lot of good amateurs coming through. And knew the coaches and that and everything were good here so I thought I'll come over and make a change so I came down here and then ever since I came here it's been a bit of a success really yeah and since you started having competitive bouts what uh, sort of weight class have you been uh, campaigning at and what are you looking to do when you do sort of progress through the uh, the amateur ranks what would you like to uh, at what weight would you like to campaign at so I fight at um, 64 kg and that's sort of the weight that um, I'm planning on staying at for as long as possible really until my metabolism stays down um, that's the weight that I've been currently fighting at and in my bouts yeah. yeah and what differentiates with the um, boxing club to the rest of the, the gyms sort of that you've been um, actively like around or sort of have seen in competitive uh, bouts um, sort of like what what makes this gym unique the atmosphere yeah it's just it's just a good vibe here like everyone gets along the coaches are good they know what they're doing they've been in the game themselves um, like you get along with everyone I have I knew people here before I came here saw good things we've got probably one of the best winning records in Reading out of all the boxing gyms just thought to myself like I fancy the change and I knew this gym was probably well it is the best in Reading yeah and what's your amateur record uh, at the moment I've had nine fights, one seven, but I've had six and six here. Yeah. So what's sort of your long-term ambitions? Have you got any sights on the Olympic cycle? Obviously, we've seen uh, recently the, the wave of Olympians that have made the transition to the pros. Yeah, like so obviously um, I've won, I won the under 10s um, national competition um, recently. And then from now, I'm going to just try and win as many titles as possible from now on. Obviously, the Olympic is a bit of a dream, but that's in the distance at the moment. But that's what everyone's sort of working towards. And yeah, and you're a goal of mine. Yeah, and you're a big boxing fan yourself. Yeah, yeah. What, yeah, you're, I'm a big fan. what sort of fighters, uh, sort of past and present, are you uh, most interested in? Any fighters that you'd like to emulate their style? Um, there's a lot, really. I like all the old ones, like Tommy Hearns, um, Sugar Ray, Roberto Duran. I like all the boxers like that. And obviously, at the moment, I've been watching boxers such as like Billy Joe Saunders. Obviously, Charlie Edwards has done good things coming from a loss to then win a world title. Yeah. Um, all people like that, really. Yeah, so touching on the Charlie Edwards story, he's the new WBC flyweight champion. Um, I mean, sort of in his embryonic stages, he came up short against John Real Casamero. Sort of to see the progression that Charlie's made, does that kind of inspire you that you can go down the same yeah, sort no, of route? Massively, massively. Obviously, um, I more, I more took my losses in the amateur boxing game and I didn't take it so seriously. Obviously, I touched on, I was at a different gym. I was, I was younger, I was about 15 and like 16 and I wasn't really taking boxing very seriously. Yeah. I wasn't enjoying my boxing as much. Um, so when I had a loss then, I don't really count it. Obviously, it's part of my past, so I've got to take it on board. But since I've changed gyms, I've been all wins. But obviously, what Charlie done in the pro ranks to lose and then come back and win a big title, um, well, 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 world title like yeah. that, it's amazing. So. See, that's something I'd like to plan and do in the future. So you'd like to replicate that, sort of get as many um, bouts in the amateurs, gain that experience, and then when you do make the transition, when the time's right, is that sort of what you've yeah, got yeah, in mind? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So win as many titles as possible in the amateur rings and um, ranks. Hopefully, like everything near enough. There's like not really any competition that I don't want to win. Yeah. Um, get as many titles as possible in the amateurs. Hopefully, get a call up for England, um, and then move on to going pro and just stay unbeaten really just yeah. keep doing what I'm doing training hard staying focused in the right gym with good people around me yeah make it all happen no it looks positive and I mean 64 kilograms what uh, sort of weight is that is that middle or so that's light welter in the amateurs light well, well, okay. I believe it's maybe super light in the pros okay if I go pro that's what I'd be but yeah in the amateurs is super welter um, I currently walk around at about 69 70 kilos it's yeah. a bit of a task to get down but with the right diet training hard like I said, I have my training partner, um, Tim on. We train together, so I get my weight down quite nicely with him. We're both sort of on the same mission when it comes to getting our weight down. Yeah. Um, so we do it together. Yeah, once it's down, then I'm good to go. I'm very big for the weight, strong for the weight. Yeah. It's a good weight for me, really. I'm very comfortable there. And sort of outside boxing, I've seen you be doing a lot of personal training and stuff um, uh, recently on your social media tabs. Sort of just get, um, kind of elaborate on um, what kind of work that you've been doing. I yeah, mean, that's right. So I do a bit of personal training too. I'm very lucky to have this um, facility down here that Nathan gives to me. Um, so there's personal training sessions available. I mainly touch on, obviously, the boxing. 
um, basics and all of that and help people just starting out in boxing that want to know a little bit about it, get all the basics right, push them in the right direction, letting them know that this gym is probably the gym that would be the best for them to take it a step further if they wanted to start fighting. Yeah. Just try and get all the basics right for them down here first and the jabs, the slips, the everything that they need to know how to throw their shots correctly um, and even if it's just to keep fit and they want to do the boxing side of things i'll help with that too yeah and how important do you think boxing is to instill discipline in young people so sort of there's a lot of uh, you know stuff going on at the moment recent epidemics of knife crime stuff like that oh, so sort of yeah, how do you yeah, feel yeah. boxing gives that uh, people a sense of purpose and direction yeah so it's massively important i think um Obviously, like you touched on, all the kids out there, there's a lot of kids even around this area now causing trouble and doing all the wrong things. And once you get in a boxing gym, you're very disciplined. And like, like I said, I've touched on it a lot of times, but you're around the right people. Like Everyone's here on the same, same sort of mission. We're all here to do well with the boxing. And yeah. once you come into a boxing gym and you start to enjoy it, it's almost like you get caught in it. You can't come away from it. It's much, much easier to come into a gym and stay and start boxing than it is to come away from boxing. Um, so I really recommend for anyone, self-defense, you never know what's going to happen nowadays, obviously. I know you shouldn't be fighting on the streets, but sometimes you can't help it. You yeah. never know what's going to happen out there. So I, I believe boxing, yeah, it's one of the one thing that all kids should really be doing. I do help also kids with boxing. Okay. A lot of my clients are young kids and their mums have contacted me saying, oh yeah, I just want them to be, feel confident on the streets, a bit of self-defense, uh, yeah. get fit whatever else now hats off to you for that and um i mean in terms of whitley as a club very tight-knit community down here it seems and i mean the gym's got all the facilities like you touched on um sort of it, i mean in terms of uh, going forward um how many sort of uh, amateurs do you see uh, making that progression from the amateurs to the professional ranks from sort of the outset you've seen guys in the gym sparring um sort of on the bags techniques yeah 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 no everyone's here we like i said we're in the right hands with nathan um we've got we've got good talent in this gym very good talent we've got the youngsters coming through like nathan's boy a kid called ruben and shaban they're coming through very nicely yeah and then we've obviously got the older lot that are out here competing at the moment we've got a lot of good kids coming through and then we've got amateurs that have already had bouts but we've got some kids that are like just coming through the ranks now starting to spar and everything and are looking very promising yeah so it's, it's bringing very good things so so in terms of an ambition for you is it just to stay active kind of get as many fights i mean in terms of the amateurs there's a lot of accolades out there you've obviously got the europeans the world championships even on the domestic sort of scene you've got the harangay bots cup and sort of titles yeah, like that yeah, are they yeah, kind of yeah. ones you're looking yeah, to target the so this season i'm planning on the east midlands which is the end of may um hopefully well i'll win that um get that one out of the way and then maybe go on to harangay too and then after that probably the under 20s which is the next na national competition because i won the under 10 so i'm just taking it step by step just keep on building up building up building up until yeah. i've got all the amateur titles that i want in my name and then go from there really yeah. um but yeah, just wouldn't ever take a big jump. And there's obviously levels to boxing. You have to take a step at a time. And just keep on doing what I'm doing, training hard, winning all my fights and just take it from there. Yeah, and in the modern day, what's sort of your favorite weight class at the moment to watch? I mean, any fighters particularly now you- It's gotta be the heavyweight division or the super middle. I mean, obviously that was a great fight on the weekend. Yeah. Degel didn't really perform to how he should have, but it was a, still a good fight. And there's a lot of good fighters in that weight category. And then same with the heavyweights. There's there's a lot of heavyweights booming at the moment. Yeah, and obviously we had the announcement today, James Degel retiring from boxing. If you could sort of in maybe like one word assess his career, what would you kind of say? I mean, he's, he's won multiple you know, titles, two-time world champion, Olympic gold medalist. Yeah, no, I think it's amazing. Like, he always touches on the fact that he was the first ever first British fighter to win a um, gold medal at the Olympics and then go on to win a world title, which is which is amazing, really. I'm just can't quite proud of whatever he's done in the pros after that, really. Yeah, I mean, it's a pleasure having you on the platform, Jay. And, uh, I mean, do you want to uh, shout out your social media outlets to the Raps on TV audience? Um, yeah, my Instagram is jjaden6. That's all I really use. Now, I appreciate you giving me some of your time. Thomas Lyons, Raps on TV. Jay, I uh, wish you all the best with the... And, uh, um, um, also, the boxing jibs Instagram is um, Whitley Amateur Boxing. Yeah. Oh, and my personal trainer one is um, at Boxing to Shape. Brilliant. So that's B-O-X-I-N and then the number two and then Shape. Perfect. Jay did there. Wish you all the best with your uh, personal training the rest of your, your amateur career. And hopefully, uh, 12, 18 months time, we'll come, uh, come back to do some... Uh, some filming and hopefully you'll have a few more titles under your belt. Thank you, I appreciate Top man. it. Top man. Cheers. Cheers.